What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with part 2 of our Thrones of the Britannia campaign as Wessex or Wessex as they are basically known. In the last episode we took uh, Buckingham from, uh, I think it was this faction here whose name I'm forgetting, uh, Bedenborg and we are now at war with Bedenborg obviously and Hillenborg along and this faction up here, Lederborg. Oh, they all have very similar names, I wonder why. Probably all in an alliance together. So anyway, we are planning to take Mid Middle Ingle, or Middle England, I presume that is, out. Uh, out. So basically we're going to secure all this and then we will move north to deal with uh, South Mercia, I presume this is basically. And we'll uh, just, we'll, we'll take these uh, few little regions here and then uh, we'll uh, probably start to move towards dealing with uh, well Easting East Ingle or East Anglia so yeah actually this is this will be South Angli Anglia I guess or Middle Anglia I guess I presume that's what it means not England but yeah I think we're basically finished uh, for the turn so we'll we're okay for food I mean we could definitely do with some more um, but I mean it's it's saying it's in the red I mean food surplus is okay so we'll end the turn and we'll just see what it's in the yellow, it's not in the red, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. It seems like economy's doing okay, and, uh, I mean, the rest is doing fine as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode of this campaign. If you did, then please do, um, well, show your support again in the comments. Um, I mean, all the support so far was uh, amazing. Um, and we're so close to a thousand subs now, guys. I think we're like nine off while I'm like... Uh, recording this. If we can do that, that'll be amazing. If we could hit that. If you're new around here and you want to see more Clones of Britannia or more weird stuff for me doing fighting wars and stuff like that, then please uh, subscribe. I mean, if you and you're watching often, then yeah, you subscribe. Uh, Faction destroyed. Sten Stainborg. Wales has been united. Okay. If you want to read that, you can read that. There you go. And traits gained. Cool. Right, so Wales has been united apparently. I mean, doesn't seem very united. Uh, it still seems like there's a uh, one or two uh, people denying, uh, well, not joining, but hey. And I'm pretty sure I have some Welsh uh, allies on here anyway, so it's not really united. Anyway, 65 food, that's not bad either. So we can do with that. And in the end turn, we did see a small, um, well, I say a small, it's 13. 13 units, so that could be pretty good. I presume these guys are going to be a Viking unit, um, so I don't really know what they've got. I don't know if we can recruit any agents. I imagine not here, because this is a small settlement. Maybe here? Oh, we can upgrade. Okay. Um, Could do craftsman and could do like a workshop. I could go for... This would help with armor. Uh, hmm... Commerce is always good trader. Moot Hill. Um, granary. Could do that. I mean, it does damage the economy a little bit, but it's not the end of the world, actually, with the economy being damaged. That is going to bring down food anyway, so I'm going to put in a granary. Um, that will always be handy, I guess. Buckingham, or whatever it's called. You can just put in a potter's, which I'm not too fussed about. What's your army like? What's the strength? Nine. Can we recruit anything great here? Nothing amazing. Nothing sword-like units. I mean, it's apparently we're going to require technology to get these guys. But we can get these ones, I mean, if we ever unlock them. Could do with some more of them. Um, but I mean, we could actually go straight up and siege Northampton. I don't know what garrison it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could go in with that. Um, King's army. I will send up the, the large army, uh, or the larger army. Okay, love, I, I, I know what's going on. Um, we're going to just put uh, some rams in. Yeah, we'll put a ram in siege tower, and then we'll just call it a day there, and we'll see what happens. This army I'm going to just put into garrison. I'm going to put in some... Uh... I'd like some cavalry. I mean, they cost a lot of an upkeep, apparently. Well, I say this. They're actually not too bad. They're scout cavalry, though, to be fair. Thane horsemen are pretty expensive. Searl spearmen, pretty damn awful. I mean, pretty bad in morale. Uh, 
Melee damage is pretty good for these guys, though. These long axemen. I could do it with some more archers. Um, and then I'll also put in... That'll be 20, so we're done with 45. I'll put in another uh, Cell Axeman, I guess. There we go. That'll do. That's that's going to be the army for now. Um, the rest of the money, I guess, we'll spend... Well, apparently we can do some technology. What can we do technology-wise? Oh, melee units. Yes, yeah, start doing this. Right. So we can unlock Royal Thanes. Excellent. Right, so we can start going down technology. Finally. Is there anything else we could do in technology? Uh, no... Nothing in civic yet. Okay, so it's just that recruitment. Um, right, so basically, I presume now we're going to be able to start unlocking more technology because uh, we've we've done one. We'll start getting more surely. Uh, I think I might go with. I mean, I'd like to get the extra food uh, production, but I think it is like another unit almost. It's what you got to kind of see it as. And yeah, I'll go with that then. Basically, another unit plus it's more income. That is fine with me. I'm just a bit worried about what... Well, this is now an army of 12, and that's an army of 9. It's fairly healthy. This one's actually pretty beaten up, apparently. So we might be able to strike in here. I don't know what they... They actually don't have a garrison. So yeah, we could actually go in next turn with this army. Um, and we could do some damage. So we'll end the turn. And we'll uh, see what um, Bedderborg does. And whether... Is it he I think it's Helenborg actually brings back an army, if it even has one. This is like the first enemy army I think I've seen, or army at all. Don't really know if Mercy have got any. I have not... Oh, Bedderborg decided to go and take Huntsdom. Okay, and there's a lot of armies now knocking about. Interesting. So maybe I'll move my army up... My secondary army up to help support the attack on Northampton... And we'll see whether we can take that this turn. Going through all these Irish factions. Just taking their time. Hopefully those uh, raiders that were uh, appeared last episode. There they are, Vicing. Or what are they? Vi well, basically the Vikings. Oh, they're apparently... Well, yeah, Settlement Prestige, I know that. In construction, yeah, cool. I want to know. Oh, we have decrees. I can enact some decrees. Basically, doing research time, public order, minus tax, though. Faction allegiance. That's a good point. How are are all the other factions uh, allied to me? Really, can't tell. I'm gonna say yes. Lo oh, actually, loyalty three. That's not great for him. Can we improve loyalty? States. Okay. Right, we're probably going to deal with the loyalty problems then. Governors. It was one of these was pretty disloyal. Loyalty 3, yeah. Can we increase secure loyalty, treasury cost? There we go. That didn't take too much. Bribe of words. Do nothing. Insult. Usurper allegiance. Uh, I'll bribe with words. Lower inference. I'm not going to do it often. Um, it's just him. Really, that's probably the only one I'm going to do it to. Three's a bit low for my life. Oh, I say that and then find another one. Well, we'll leave it for now. One one a turn's probably be fine. Uh, the army here... That's a 20 and that's a... Could we attack it this turn and actually would we take it? Maintain Siege. Uh, I'm going to see if we can just sneak in and take it this turn. Then with this 12. See if we can get it. Without having to do anything too major. Let's see. Let's attack. I don't, I don't know how good the sieges are in... Um, thrones. But we don't need to really worry about that one. We can avoid having to fight that one. That was actually not too bad. We didn't lose too much. I could subjugate these guys. I'm going to occupy... And I'm going to just kind of... Well, I think they're now without a settlement, aren't they, these guys? The Hillenborg, now without a settlement. Now Northampton is ours. I'm going to repair and repair. These guys can not really move anywhere, so they might as well just stay here and support. Uh, really. So what's, what's that? Region and province. Oh, okay. 
The king has a upgradation. What can we do for you? Forager? Food production? Maybe. Um, that's something more. Food production's more something for like a governor. Siege holdout time. Maybe a champion. Scribe. Uh, I'm going to go with bard. Go with more replenishment. That would be really good. That's always handy. And then what is this? These guys got an upgrade as well. I'd like... Hmm. With you... Campaign movement range. Oh, quartermaster. Yeah, that would be pretty handy. Don't know why I didn't do that with the uh, king's army, actually. I, that would have been very handy. But anyway, we don't. It's uh, we can always do that next time. I'm sure Alfred will have many more battles to fight and many more victories. Uh, how much money do we have left? 2,400 left. We, oh, yeah, we don't care about decrees. I'm not too fussed about that. We can apparently sign a governor. Um, I don't know if I really want to. Uh, appoint the selected character as governor. Well, can I not just make it... Who's this guy that's in charge of this? Is it the same guy that's in charge of the same... No, they're, they're not all the same person in charge. I say this. No, they just all look very similar. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm going to just... Estates, I'm probably just going to... Agriculture estate. Uh, well, can I not just give... I'm pretty sure you can just, like... Give all the states to the estates to your king or something. I don't know. It doesn't need a governor as of yet. It's not like end of the world. Just yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, public order. Current. It's, well, yeah, this is a pretty meh place. So this is 13. This is 5. Is it going up or is it going down? I'm not really sure. Could do food. Um... Could improve public order. Not really needed to do. I don't need to really do too much there. Uh, ooh, what can we do here? Furs. Yeah, that could be kind of handy. I'm going to go with a Benedictine uh, Abbey, I think, actually, for income and for public order. Because just because this place wasn't like, it's not doing great for public order, but also it's just. It's kind of handy. It's kind of handy. Um. Don't think I'm going to take and uh, do anything else. Don't think I'm going to put any more troops into the army just yet. I'd like to see what this army does, whether it's going to come for a Sons of Woden. They can't even reach this turn. And these guys, are the Vidaborg, are doing whatever. They're actually, they do have a settlement left. Okay. Well, we'll see where our uh, wars take us. I mean, we all of their settlements are actually undefended. At the moment, they don't actually have anyone in them. They, so we could try and sneak around and get them. Skills available. Uh, yeah. Oh, have they all got like skills and stuff available to do? Oh, they do. Oh, I should, probably been should, should have been doing this ages ago, and people are having a go at me. Um, <laughs> but uh, forage, I have that. Yes. Love stand can have. Um. Local enemy province loyalty. Oh, that could be kind of handy for. Um. Yeah, I'll put priest in because I guess like public order. Yeah, that's kind of handy. I know the public order is gonna be a bit of a damaging there, but hey. Um, I say scribes pretty handy. Probably should have most of them on the same thing. Siege engineer pretty handy. Um, for a general, if we ever get that, and put some more food for local province in, and then you can have food as well. Um, just so we have lots and lots of food for our. Uh, Stuff. Low public order, middle six, yeah, minus two, and middle ingle. But that's kind of just because we've had a lot of wars going on. But it's not too bad. Well, uh, we can always send another army over there and garrison it and increase that public order for a bit. We probably will need a third army to swoop in and from the south while those two main armies attack from the uh, east when we go for east ingle. Okay, so Bedderborg aren't even interested in carrying on the fight. I mean, it looks like we're going to have a battle because we could actually fight that 11 stack uh, next turn. So we're probably going to do that. And it looks like whatever alliance was going on here is breaking to pieces. So we're probably going to go straight for um, that. Uh, I think it was Hedelborg, wasn't it? I forget. These names are already mixing up. They all end in Borg. Unless you like got that sort of name. Like... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. And then there's the, the Vikings there. Faction destroyed. Derby been destroyed. Okay, well, 
Well, which is basically Derby anyway. Spelled in a funny way, but it's Derby. Um, okay, so we're going to probably bring up which one I'd rather have go into combat first. This one's pretty solid. Um, we'll, we'll go to like here. Uh, this army can... Yeah, he's going to retreat. Yeah, I thought that would be the case. King's army can come to support. And we'll go in with the nine again. Hmm... I go rather go in the nine or go in with the, the Well either way I'm probably attacking so he's not gonna actually come after me. Yeah, I don't care, love. Um I know we have massive advantage. Oh, don't want to do knight at all. Um we're gonna manly fight this one and uh We're gonna see what sort of units we have sort of going on. We we can have a battle, see what's happening. I've done a few uh thrones battles in my time, but uh, not too many. So we'll see what happens in this one. I think uh well, the plan is to just hold the, hold our ground, wait for our reinforcements, and see what happens. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys on the battlefield while this loads in. Back on the battlefield, we've decided to set up on this hill with our archers out front. We've got some thanes or like sex warriors in the middle, and then we have our spears on the flanks to protect our cavalry. We have our cavalry out here on the left, hopefully going to uh, do some damage to some... Uh, Maybe some archers, we'll see. And our allies are coming in from the right hand side, so we're gonna we're gonna do something like that. And I don't care what you gotta say, dude. Just go away. See, so yeah, our, our allies are coming in somewhere. To our right, over here. Here they are. Big old army. Alfred has arrived. It's time to march out. Uh, can you all just like appear? Infantry. Uh, just get to somewhere like there. I imagine the AI is probably gonna be very passive. Um, um, or maybe they, maybe I don't think they'll come for us. They're probably very confused what to do. Yeah, they already look very confused. But I mean, what have they got then? They've got some Searl Javelin men. Um, they've got some Searl Axemen. Some Sword Herdmen. These guys are pretty damn good. Not, they're not to be too shabby. Um, and then what have we got here? Some uh, Warlords Companions. They, the, that's the General's unit. They'll be solid. Very, they already look a very elite unit. Would not want to mess with them. Look at them furs. Look at them furs. Would not mess with him. What have they got in the back then? Long axemen and some more spears. And then they've got some scout horsemen, which are pretty pants. They're pretty similar to what I've got. Um, well, yeah, that's all I have got. And then they've also got some thane horsemen, which are going to be pretty nasty. That's what we're going to have to put our spears up against or focus them down with bows. One or the other. Just put our horse. Our Scouts out here. I should put them on the right over here in this formation. And we'll work from there. Um, just fast forward, I guess, while we wait for my men to get into position. See what the AI does. Probably nothing. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Cavalry going to probably be able to take up most of this army. Probably should actually get my cavalry to focus on the left, on the right. Can you go away? I'm just advisor. I can't turn you off. Oh, just go away, you stupid man. If you're not going to listen to me. Right. What are these? These are bows. More bows. Uh, well, put you out top here, I guess. You also, uh, just go like here. Bows. And then I'm going to probably just try and force these guys in with a bit of a push here. Bit of a push. Is this the general? Is this Alfred? Yeah, Alfred. Get up here. Actually, we're gonna have to get off this hill. That's the sad thing. Um, cavalry. Actually, I want all the cavalry on the right. I say that I'm probably gonna need more cavalry on this uh, this side, and that means that Alfred can just join his men here. Bows. Go to. You're going up there, so you go like here. Other bows, just come and like join here. There we go. We're causing a bit of chaos where we're going. Um, Cav out there. It's the first battle, we've got to get this right, I guess. We've got to absolutely pound these guys into the ground. And then we can uh, happily know that Northampton is very safe. So there's cavalry, just put these in the woods. See if they dare come at me. Um, right. 
bows forward to somewhere like there. Oh, here we go. Maybe a little too far forward. I'm going to put you like there. You go to somewhere like there. Calvary. Who's this? Get up here, you cowards. Uh, actually, no. Go to there. Right, we just got to keep an eye. Yep, already they're cowering with their uh, with our archers. We're probably going to have to form shield wall in a minute. Or shield castle. Now. Uh, they're going to be stupid enough to charge in. Because we have far too many men, we can just flank around like this. Or Apparently it's a boulder in the way, so we can't. Um, focus these guys down. Just focus anything down that looks pretty dangerous, I'd say. What's here? Cavalry? Where's, that? Where's their cavalry unit? Did they commit it? I can't even see. I shouldn't have gone where there's bushes. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. That's why the cavalry's in here. Who are these? Oh, sh get in here. Get these guys in here. Uh, where's our cavalry? Um, you flank around. Oh, these guys are going to be pretty nasty to beat. Um, archers, our cavalry. Where's our other cavalry? Flank around. Uh, get the companions in there, I guess. Are these archers? Yeah, keep these guys in. Who are you? Oh, are they breaking? They are. Where are you break a wavering? Here. Already? What are you fighting against? Cells? I guess that is pretty bad. Let's just surround these guys. It's probably not going to be the, easy, uh, the funnest of battles to fight, I would seem. But uh, hey, we've got we to gotta do what we've got to do. Uh, can you just get in there? Hi. Yeah, that's not good. Um, where's Alfred? Alfred's here. Okay, is he staying... He's staying Cav. They're not, not fun to fight against. Uh, yeah, I should really be having my men fight these guys. He's Uh, go in the back here. Cut these guys down. What are you? Uh, kill those guys. Uh, actually, no. You're cavalry. Uh, get these. Get these fools back. Uh, what are you? Oh, long axes. Get in there. Kill these. Uh, these guys off. Yeah, you're losing badly. Right there we go. That's basically the battle wraps up. We've probably lost a little bit more than necessary, but hey, it happens. Um, archers hold fire. Um, hold. Uh, archers, halt. Oh, I don't like that they've got an X. Why are you dying so much? Don't know. Okay. Interesting. Go in there. Um, kill those. Uh, you focus on these guys, actually. Focus down. What are you? Have been we have hidden units left? <laughs> I don't think so, sir. Um, you just all converge on there, then. All converge on there. And now, archers, you can hold your fire. There we go. Lovely jubbly. I mean, we didn't get to see much of the fighting. The enemy general is dead, though. But you can see the last final stand, and that is it. There's going to be a lot of cutting down now. Uh, don't let these guys get away. Um, just cut these men down. There we go. Perfect. How many of them left? Well, zero apparently, but it's, that's not true. There's still some here. About 20 or so. Uh, end the battle. There we go. Decisive victory. And Wessex is uh, victorious. Of course we are. Of course. Um, only lost 210 men. Not too bad. They lost nearly everything. 45 left. Um, so, I mean, that's not too bad. We can live with those sort of losses. If that's going to be the losses we're losing all the time, I'm fine with that. So there we go, he's dead. And we're going to just assimilate these guys into our army. I'm not too fussed who they are. There we go, faction destroyed Hillenburg. An enemy general killed. Excellent, right. So, the king's army can go back into Northampton. And this army can get on the march towards... It can go there. Go on, it can, we'll put it there. 
Not much recruit in the way of recruitment for now. I actually I might recruit some stuff for the King's Army. We can afford to. Um, those long axes were pretty handy. I'm going to get some more of them. I could get some Thane horsemen as well. They were very, very powerful. There we go. We'll call, call that an army for now. That's a pretty strong army. Um, and then money. We have plenty of money left. We are probably going to go for some more food and economy stuff. Definitely economy because we've taken a little bit of a hit. Not much, but a little bit. Um, so food... Or, hmm, this does damage public order quite a lot, though. Or we could get a port going. Beach market or beach port. Oh, no, overseas trader or beach market. Uh, 31 food's fine. That's, like, a pretty good increase. Um, so we'll do that. Anything else that we can really build up in the way of buildings? Apparently so here. Do I need... Do I really need that? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty happy with what's here. Diplomacy, I'm going to quickly have a look at. See if anyone does really like me in this part of the world. Northumberland apparently do really like me. Well, not really, but they, they, they're warming. Defensive pact? Intriguing. No, I didn't think so. Um, I'm going to leave that for now because I don't really... Don't really want anything else from them. Um, let's click back on... These guys, everyone down here really likes me. Verdeborg, Ken. Uh, I mean, all these people are my vassals, so I mean, who cares what they think? You have no power here. Ooh, you don't like us. You're a vassal kingdom of us, but you don't like us. Deteriorating. Well, we're going to have to go over and uh, sort you out. I could offer you a gift, a small gift. There you go, well, that helps you. That is actually improving you, but it's not actually doing much in the way of stuff. So I may need to send an army down and actually pacify uh, these guys. Who knows, if they break away, that is. Which is possible. Um, these guys who we are at war with, um, Lederborg, are now split in two by Helleborg. Oh god, all these names. There's actually no real diplomacy I need to do. It's quite limiting, um, really. I'm going to put in a... Yeah, go on, I'll put in a... It does damage economy, and I don't really need to damage the economy for no reason here. Traits gained. Okay, some people gained some traits. Cool. Middlesex hates us a bit, but... Oh, good, this needs a governance, apparently. Apparently you do need a gover governor. Um, Middle England. Do you want to set the character? Oh, no. Are these candidates? Well, I thought you were all governing people already. But okay. Well, we'll we'll see. I'll give it to you, Lofstan. Can you also govern Middle England? Can you multitask? Okay, so we did have a crash there. Um, I'm just going to kind of just... We're going to pretend like this battle happened to start with. So we'll move this 12 army up to there. Then attack with this. Then we'll go in with one army and attack with the other. Auto resolve, kill these men. I wonder if we'll lose more than 200 this time or less or maybe the same. Uh, about the same losses, that's not too bad then. Uh, yep, yeah, they're dead, cool. Thank you very much. So we'll just quickly go over what happened. Be uh, actually, I don't want you there. I want you to just kind of move on there to this village. You go in there. Um, you do have... I'd like you to get some Thane and some... Oh, we could get some Saix Warriors. I'd rather have them. And some Long Axemen. There we go. Perfect. Done. There we go. Army complete. Got some stuff in it. Brilliant. Um, and then I was also building a port down here in Portsmouth. The only change that happened in the end turn, which I have noticed, is that my goddamn vassal has had a rebellion. And he's lost a, a, a region. I'm going to raise another army to just possibly go and help put it down. But, hopefully I don't have to. Hunter. Um, what's this? Impassioned zeal. Uh, well, you're a governor. You're a great governor. So we're going to go with Wolfsig as a starting trait. Uh, there we go. He's pretty battered up, but hey. He's his own self. He can, uh, he'll raise an army next turn, if needs be. The economy's taking a little bit of a hit, but that's fine. 
And then we've also got low loyalty. We'll see. Oh, is this the guy we've just hired, isn't it? The guy we just hired. Well, so Ethel Wall. Well, actually, where is he? We'll see. I just had him. Oh, there he was. I just saw him. We'll see. Down here. Can we include. You don't have sufficient funds. Oh, okay. Well, we'll sort you out next turn. Or next uh, episode, probably. Um. Apart from that, we haven't actually got anything really to worry about. Um, technology will be sorted out next turn, that is fine. And yeah, that's kind of it. We're done with 56 food, a little bit less than I'd like to have. But we'll we'll gain some more, I'm, I'm sure, soon with um, some buildings. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more Thrones of Britannia and our expansion into more of Wessex, well, not Wessex, as Wessex, into more of England, then please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Let's try and hit that thousand mark if possible. And anyway, guys, until next time, Legionnaires.